high pressure injection injury of the hand. High pressure injection injuries usually occur in young males and typically occur to the index finger or to the palm of the hand from lack of experience or misuse of paint spray guns or grease guns. Oil-based paint is worse than grease, latex, or water-based paint. Water and latex-based paints are the least destructive. Grease is intermediate. Oil-based paints are highly inflammatory and can cause inflammation, immediate tissue necrosis, and amputation. High-pressure injection injuries are serious problems, and they always appear benign because of a small entry wound. A non-dominant index finger is the most commonly affected digit, more than 50%. Because the entry wound appears small and benign, only about 25% of the patients will present to the emergency room for treatment. The material is usually accidentally injected into the non-dominant hand. Injection pressures are usually high and more than 7,000 PSI will cause 100% amputation. Injected substance passes rapidly through the subcutaneous tissue and enters the flexor tendon sheath. Injection is typically spread either to the thinner space to the mid-palm space, or may go proximally into the peruna space. Early diagnosis will need careful history and careful inspection of the hand. Prognosis. Injection of the digit will have a worse prognosis than the palm. Paint is the worst material and may result in over 60% amputation rate. Urgent treatment is necessary to save the limb. Two things that carry amputation risk. The first one, the material that was injected. The second one, the timing of the presentation. How late was the presentation? Delaying the treatment more than 10 hours increased the risk of amputation. Treatment. These injuries require antibiotics and prompted surgical intervention with surgical irrigation and debridement of all ischemic tissues. Urgent surgical debridement within six hours decreases the risk of amputation. Amputation can occur with oil based paint despite an early aggressive surgical treatment. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.